though, has Colorado not woken up to this? 36 states, I'm sorry, 34 states out of 46 who adopted Common Core are working to get out of Common Core in one way or the other, whether it be a slowdown or a pause until true public awareness is done, cost analysis are done, some are trying to back out of the data mining, some are trying to get out of standards or the whole thing itself, 34 out of 46 now. And I say that if you've heard me on Peter Boyles, I educated Peter, Alaska came in late. They adopted Math Common Core April of 2013 and they became part of the Smarter Balance Consortium testing and now less than nine months later they are, are writing, trying to write legislation to back out of Common Core. We are also asking for a task force to be developed so that we can evaluate the assessment, test the cost, of, a thorough cost analysis for Colorado because when we get into the testing portion, I'm going to explain to you how this is going to be the demise of many, many districts financially. We are working really hard with legislation to get PARC stopped until we can do a thorough evaluation. I want it repealed, but we know we're not going to get it repealed this year. Next year is the last leg of Common Core, and that's the testing. Um, it's like Obamacare, and I don't care if people say, oh, it's not comparable. It is. It is exactly comparable. It came to us in waves, in phases, and under the radar. And by the time we all wake up and realize the demise and the cost and what the freedoms we're losing, it'll be too late. Next year, 2014 and 15, is the last leg. That's when PARC has to be implemented because it was written into legislation through Senate Bill 191, and that's what we're trying to get overturned right now. How this affects homeschools, parochial schools, private schools, is through the uh, college entrance exams. The ACT is already aligned with Common Core. David Coleman made that happen, and just last week when I was in Fort Collins, announced that the SAT is now aligned with Common Core. The GED is aligned with Common Core. So the final step of college entrance is the PSAT. Many homeschoolers and parochial schools use that option. And so the idea is if you want your child to get into a four-year selective school, they need to do well on those tests. If you look at last year's ACT scores, you'll find a huge drop. And that's because many districts didn't even know that the ACT had already been aligned in reading. And reading is where all those scores dropped. This year, it will be fully aligned, so all aspects of the ACT is fully aligned with the Common Core. That is scary, and we didn't even know it was happening. I didn't know. My superintendent didn't know. My school board didn't know, and I believed them. And I said, well, if you knew about Race to the Top, how come you didn't know about Common Core? He said, I've not heard that language. He did look like a deer in the headlights, and that shocked me. So when your district tells you we still have autonomy over our curriculum, they do. But this is what the CDE tells them. The work of the Content Collaboratives, which is a Gates company, which came into Colorado and helped develop the Colorado Academic Standards before Common Core in 2008, it minimizes the need for districts to invest their resources in designing their own instructional tools slash curriculum and classroom level assessments. In addition, by leveraging expertise from across the state, Colorado can increase the quality of tools and assessments available to the districts. Districts can capitalize on the state's investment by accessing, augmenting, and adapting the tools and assessments as appropriate. Page 26. That's 25 and 26 of Race to the Top. Okay. So thank you. I appreciate your time. There is a letter of opposition in front of you that I take to the state uh, school board. We enter it into evidence as the voice of Colorado wanting out of Common Core. There's a ton of handouts over here on different topics, data mining, curriculum, whatever. Um, come tonight so I can spend more time with you. I have a web page and a Facebook page. It is Stop Common Core Colorado. That's the Facebook page and you can find calendar of events. We have a national protest Common Core Day, April 5th. It's Saturday at noon. This is going nationwide. And uh, right now, the place is to be determined. We're hoping to get the capital, and I'll know today if we did get that slot. So please come tonight. Call me, email me. I'd love to spend some time if you have further questions.